We've been following the migrant crisis very closely here in Western Mass. This week, we learned the number of migrant families coming into Massachusetts is on the rise, but spaces used for sheltering them is running out. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago joining us live in studio after getting answers about the situation directly from Governor Healy. Daniel. Chris, Governor Maura Healy announced on Monday that shelters in 90 communities across the state are expected to reach full capacity by the end of the month. And today I'd ask her for an update. Migrant families coming into the Bay State seeking shelter are doing so in large numbers. That prompted Massachusetts Governor Maura Healy to declare a state of emergency in August. Around the state, over 7,000 families are sheltering in emergency shelters, hotels and motels. That number represents about 24,000 people. And this presents a problem since the state's emergency shelter program can only handle 7,500 families right now. While in Springfield on Wednesday, Western Mass News asked Governor Healy if she's still considering Westfield State University as a possible shelter location. We're still in discussions there. Um, again, we're not ending the right to shelter. Just two days ago, Governor Healy urged the federal government to take action and allow more funding to come into the state to continue offering services and helping more migrant families. She tells us her administration is still waiting for a response. I continue to uh, await word from the Biden administration. I continue to await action by Congress. It's terrible right now that there is no speaker in the House and that they're not able to act on things like the Biden administration's supplemental bill for more funding on this issue in particular, um, both funding to the border and infrastructure and also funding to us interior states to deal with the number of, of new arrivals. In the meantime, Governor Healy is partnering with mass higher regional offices to match qualified migrants with open jobs across the state hoping that once they start working, they can exit the emergency shelter system. Reporting live in studio, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.